in this video i will be going to talk about key lookup row id lookup and nested loop first i will be going to explain you key lookup and nested loop with the help of one diagram so if you see this example here i have non clustered index and this is the clustered index and uh, here i'm searching the details from the student table where name equal to gary so what will happen first gary will be searched here first it will go to left hand side then it will go to right hand side and here you see you will find two garys this is just the non clustered index seek operation which you have seen so you see i will get two gary one gary having the id 2 and one gary having the id 5 now let us consider these two values as the outer rows or the outer records so what will happen this id number 2 from the outer record will be seeked here in the clustered index so obviously it will go to left hand side and again to is less than 4 so it will go to left hand side and here you will get the details of the gary from the leaf level then sql server will search for the next record which is record number 5 from the outer table so consider it like a outer table and consider this as the inner table so from the outer table you got the value of the inner tables now from the outer table this id value 5 will be seeked so first it will go to left hand side then you see after few searches i will be going to reach to the desired record using the clustered index seek here also index seek happen here also index seek happen that's fine here i was searching for the keys first i search for key the details of key number 2 and then i search for details of key number 5 so searching for these keys is known as key lookup here you were searching for the keys like first you were searching for key number 2 and then you were searching for key number 5 this concept is known as key lookup and there is one more concept which is known as nested loop so this nested loop definition first i will be going to show you in my notepad file so here what happens is within the nested loop you take one row from the outer table and find the matching rows in the inner table and return them so if you notice this is the outer table outer table has these two records and using this outer table i am finding the inner records which are present in the inner table so i am considering this as a inner table and considering this as a outer table so you see it is like a loop using the outer table i was getting the details of id number 2 once i got the details of id number 2 then i switch to the next record of the outer table and using this value i again try to get the values from the inner table so it is like a looping so first i use the first value and after that i use the second value to get the details from the inner table so this concept is known as nested looping and this will keep on happening until all the records from the outer table are finished so there are only two records so this loop will work two times if suppose there are 10 records here so this loop will work 10 times and for all the 10 times of the outer table the inner table will be searched so this concept is known as nested loop so this is what i have written here so you take one row from the outer table and find the matching rows in the inner table and return them if suppose the matching rows in the inner table are finished here for id number 2 i got the matching row so here the matching row is finished then what sql server will do sql server will jump to the next row then sql server will jump to the next record of the outer table and again it will repeat the process until all the rows of outer table are finished so this is the concept of nested loop now you see the similar concept i will explain you using the 
रो आई डी लुकअप सो वट हैपन्स इन की लुकअप यू सी आई सीकड द रो विद इन द क्लस्टर्ड इंडेक्स बट हेयर इन द रो आई डी लुकअप आई विल सीक द रो विद इन द हीप सो दिस आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ द डायग्राम सो कंसिडर दिस डायग्राम हेयर ऑल्सो आई एम सिलेक्टिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट टेबल वेयर नेम इक्वल टू गैरी एंड इन दिस केस आई हैव नॉन क्लस्टर्ड इंडेक्स बट I don't have clustered index present. It means the data is stored in heap. Let's say the student data is stored in the pages from P1 to P16. So what will happen here? First, SQL Server will perform the non-clustered index seek operation, and it will be going to get the values of Gary, and it will. do some seek operation and it will reach to gary now you see gary has two addresses let's say some address number 1 and there is another gary which is at address number 2 you know that this is a row pointer which is straight point to the start of the row so let's say this address is pointing to some record in p5 and this record is pointing to some record in p16 so now you see consider it like a outer table and again the nested loop concept will be there and this is the inner table so what will happen i told you how nested loop works it will take first record from the outer table and using the first record of the outer table it will search for the data in the inner table so using this address of the outer table it will get the record which is present in page number 5 once you got this record then it will move to the next value of the outer table and uh, reach to address number 2 and let's say this address number 2 is somewhere in page number 16 so it will reach to that particular point and get the corresponding record where the gary is available so you see after that there is no record available in the outer table so you see this nested loop is finished so this nested loop will work for two times in this case also and you see it will straight point to the start of the row because these addresses has the pointers to the start of the row so that is called row id lookup so last time i had the key values like gary was at position number 2 and gary was at position number 5 it was a key lookup this key was looked up in the clustered index and 5 was looked up in the clustered index but in this case i have straight addresses which is pointing to the start of the row and this concept is known as row id lookup where sql server is straight pointing to the start of the row so both these examples i will be going to show you with the help of queries so here this is the first query i have written here if you notice i am selecting the data from the production dot product table and uh, here on the production dot product i have a clustered index on the product id column and i have a non clustered index on the name column so here i am searching for the name column so what will happen on the name column i have a non clustered index and on the product id column i have a clustered index so first data will be seeked in the non clustered index like down tube will be seeked in the non clustered index it will get the corresponding product id of this down tube and then this product id will be used in key lookup operation this will be going to happen so if i execute this particular command so although there is only one record so the corresponding product id is 327 so if i go to the execution plan so first index seek occurred in the non clustered index so if you see this particular non clustered index the name of the non clustered index is ak underscore product underscore name so this is the non clustered index on the name column where the index seek occurred means down tube name is seeked and after that you get the corresponding id for that id key lookup 
happen key lookup occurred in the clustered index and you see there is a nested loop also because right now in this nested loop there is only one record but for example if you have more than one down tube options let's say one down tube is at 327 and another down tube is at 487 for both these records this nested loop will work but this time this nested loop will work for a single record only but yes this is the outer table how i come to know that this is the outer table so you see if you look at this this is a nested loop and so this is the outer table and this will be considered as a inner table so the lower table will always be the inner table and the top table will always be the outer table so top table will be the outer table and the bottom table will be the inner table so this will always be the concept whenever you look at this nested loop so you will easily find which is the outer table and which is the inner table now in the next example i will be going to show you row id lookup and in the row id lookup i am using the database log table so if you notice this database log table it does not have clustered index it has non-clustered index it does not have any clustered index it means this data is stored in heap but yes there is one non-clustered index present on the database id log id so on this i have non-clustered index present so first what will happen seek operation will happen for id number 31 so once you get the value for the id number 31 then for 31 you will have some address so you see row id lookup will happen inside the heap to get all the details for that id number 31 and also nested loop will happen here also because consider you have more than one value of 31 let's say it has an address 1 or it has an address 2 then you need to loop these things like the outer table values will look up in the inner table so one by one you have to perform the looping operation but in this scenario i have only one record so the looping will happen only one time let me show you by running this command so if i execute this command so here i got one value and if you see here first index seek occurred in the non-clustered index so you see here 31 was seeked with some address the looping will done only one time here in this case here row id lookup happened row id lookup happened in the heap but if you see in the previous case where the key lookup happened the key lookup happened was in the clustered index so in the production table the key lookup happened in the clustered index but here the row id lookup happened in the heap so the non cluster index and the clustered index combination if you have then key lookup will happen and uh, if you have a non clustered index and a heap scenario then you will see row id lookup but you see generally we prefer clustered index in our tables so you see this is a point to consider if you see something like heap here in the execution plan so you may think of converting the heap into the clustered index so that can be a point to consider in your system because we generally prefer clustered index in sql server if you suppose convert this heap into clustered index then you have to rebuild all your non clustered indexes also because right now the non clustered indexes are dependent on the heap because you have created the clustered index so these non clustered index will become invalid because they were pointing to the heap data but if the clustered index is created then you have to rebuild your indexes because now these non cluster should point to the data which is present in the clustered index so earlier non cluster indexes were doing the row id lookup but now after creating the clustered index non cluster index should do the key lookup so obviously you have to change the structure of non cluster indexes also if you are switching from heap to the clustered index then you have to rebuild the non cluster indexes as well so this was a concept of key lookup row id lookup and the nested loop